Welcome, everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to find the slope and y-intercept of a function from an equation, how to graph linear functions using slope and y-intercept, how to graph linear inequalities using slope and y-intercept, how to use the correct line and shading for the graphs of inequalities, and how to graph multiple linear inequalities on the same plane and find their intersection. How are we learning it? Through the Systems of Linear Inequalities Reassessment Assignment and the Systems of Linear Inequalities MYP Assessment Assignment. When can we use this information? To calculate the amount of money in a savings account, to determine which scores you can receive on your final exam that will allow you to pass the course, and to determine how many of each kind of product you might need to sell to reach a goal profit. How do you know you learned it? By getting a score of 4 on the Systems of Linear Inequalities Reassessment Assignment and a 4 on the Systems of Linear Inequalities MYP Assessment Assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over the learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll turn in your Systems of Linear Inequalities Study Guide. After that, I'll give you time to complete the Systems of Linear Inequalities Reassessment Assignment on Illuminate. Now, if you've already gotten a score of four on your assessment, you'll move on and work on the Systems of Linear Inequalities MYP assessment assignment on Desmos. Then at the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your before you go. Your only homework for tonight is to work on any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's take a look now at the Systems of Linear Inequalities reassessment assignment. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here that'll take us to the Illuminate test. Go ahead and click on that link, and it should take you to a page that looks like this. Let's talk now about how to log into Illuminate so that we can take our assessments. So when you click on the link to go to your Illuminate, it should take you to a page that looks like this, and it should already have the access code already there. So the only thing you need to enter in is your student login. Now your student login is your full student ID. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that in. So we enter in our full student ID and click next. It's gonna pop up to a page that looks like this. It should have your name right here and your student ID here. It should tell you what test you're taking right here. If everything looks right, you're gonna go ahead and click confirm. From there, it should take you to a page that looks like this should have the title here, should have your name up here in the top right corner. It tells you when the, do, when the test closes and how many questions are on the test. You'll go ahead and click begin test. That will allow you to begin your test and complete the questions. Once you're done, make sure you go back to Google Classroom and submit your work.